Hi, this is Alvina, and I'm coming to bring you another card idea. This was one that um, was shared at our demonstrator Zoom meeting. Joan Cress um, demonstrated it, and so I've made a little bit different one. I'll show you the one I made there later, but this is the one I'm going to demo for you tonight. Okay, this is how it looks from the front. I use the um, perfectly plaid stamp set. So that's what the tree and the trees are from and the ho ho ho, the greeting. And then this is how it opens. Just open it. You've got kind of a little pop-up card here. And see there's a little paper there too. So the designer paper I used on this is called Peaceful, um, no, Heartwarming Hugs. Heartwarming Hugs is the designer paper. I like it because it's real red, mossy meadow, and um, pear pizzazz. Nice de traditional Christmas colors. Okay, so let me show you what you need. Let's see if I can set this down here. Okay, you need a card base, and I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use um, pear pizzazz. Card base is eight and a half by five and a half, and then you score it in the middle at four and a quarter fold it. Then you also need an insert piece that is five and a half by five and a quarter. So it's almost square. So you want to pay really close attention because you're going to score this in three places. Score it at three quarters of an inch, at four inches, and at four and three quarters. So you don't want to accidentally turn it the wrong way. This is the insert. We'll do that a little bit later. Then you also need some car some um, designer paper or coordinating cardstock for the front. So I chose these two. And then a strip for the inside. So I haven't decided for sure which one I'll use yet, but I'll try one of these. And then you need some scraps because you need scraps for your greeting. You need scraps for if you're going to do, um, you know, like I did the, the tree that pops up. Um, and... Um, also for your um, scalp circle. Okay, so to start with, the first thing you're going to do, let me move this aside now, is attach your designer paper to the front. So let me just show you a little trick I do. I use just a touch of paper so that I can get it positioned. I've got just a touch of ink. I'm or, ink. Okay, I guess I can't talk tonight. A touch of tape. Just a little tiny touch of tape because then I can kind of lay it here. I know this one's going to have a little wider border. So I'm laying it on there. Now that's stuck there. This one now I'm going to stick down. So I'm going to put my tape on here all the way down. I want this one stuck. And now it's easy for me to butt this up and line it up there now this one because I just use a little touch will peel up and I can stick it on and that's a one way I do to get my when I'm using more than one piece of paper to get them straight and have them you know look nice together anyway okay so there you go there's my front now I need to cut my circle out before I go any further because I cannot do it once I have attached the inside. So let me get my machine, my stampin' and boss and cut, and I have my my um, layering circle dies. I've decided I want a narrow. Um, band so I'm using the the circle that fits right inside that scallop looks like that will just fit here on my paper I'm going to use a little post-it note to help hold it down I've got my one two and three and now I'm having my other three for my layers to go on here and then I'm just going to run it through let's see if I can do that without shaking the camera too much here get that through there Okay, I'll take this off and set this out of the way because I've got kind of a small workspace here. So, 
as you can see now there's a circle you can save that to use for something else and then I've got my scallop circle to go around my hole oops I also need to cut my hole out now just the hole not the scallop okay so let me grab my machine back again and I like to I have a little ruler handy usually Maybe I'm a little too um, um, fussy, but I just like to make sure it's kind of even from the edges. So I'm looking at that. Looks like I can move it over a little bit. That's about three quarters and one mark. And where's the fold line? There. Yep. There. I'm going to move it down just a smidgen and put my, my um, post-it note back on there. Okay. And we're going to run it through again. Okay, make sure I got straight here and cut my hole out. That's what I was referring to. I have to cut the hole out before I can attach the inside. Okay, now let me set this out of the way and get this ready here. So here's a fun piece too. You might want to use that for another card. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and attach my little... Um, circle okay so I'm going to use the Tombow glue and this one again remember you just need a gentle touch don't need too much now this one I have oh there yep I want to make sure it was coming out we were uh, in the mountains and I tried doing a project and wow the glue was just coming out like crazy and someone said when it does that unscrew the other end so I thought, well, that was a good tip to know. So remember that. Uh, for those of you who live in the mountains, you maybe already know that, but I was just visiting, so I didn't know. Okay, so there, and I got some glue on there. And I'm gonna stick it on here. And get it in place. I don't want the white to show. It should fit around that circle pretty good. There. All right, whoops, wow, look at that, I moved it. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, it's gonna stick down here. Stick it down before I push on it, there we go. Okay, so now we've got that. Okay, now we need to work on the inside piece. This is the one where you have to do some scoring. So let me grab my scoring board. And, I kept this on here because I wanted to remember this is my five and a half inches so I don't have to measure it all the time. Here, let me put my glue out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to go at three-fourths. I'm going to start actually on this side. So I'm going to do at four and three-quarters. So here's four, one, two, three-quarters. And I'm going to score. And then I'm going to move over to four. Because four was the next one. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing here. Four, and then all the way over to three quarters of an inch. Which sometimes, when it's going to have so much hanging over like that, I will just turn it around and do three quarters, because you can go three quarters this way. I find that a little bit easier. It gives me more to hang on to. And now I need to um, burnish all those folds. So let me do that. Get my bone folder here. Okay, so here's one fold. And we'll just kind of burnish that. And then we've got the other two on this side. Go that. And this one. And there we go. There, now we're all set. Okay, now this is how it's going to go in the card. This piece is going to be attached to the front. So I'm actually going to lay it down here. So you want a little border at the bottom and a little border at the top, because this is five and a quarter and the card is five and a half. So it's gonna get attached there. So I'm going to put tape on here and then I'm gonna close it like that to attach it. But before I do that, I wanna get my circle ready. So I've got this laying in here and I'm just gonna take a pencil and make a few little pencil lines. So here's a little pencil line at the bottom, little pencil line at the top, 
at this side and this side. So now, before I attach everything, I'm going to stamp it. Then I know where I can go with my stamping. So to start with, I'm going to use some Mellow Moss. Usually I start with a light color, but I kind of wanted the dark to show up first, so I'm doing the dark first. So I got some Mellow Moss here. Sorry, I think I shook the camera. I'm going to go, and it doesn't hurt if I go off over here, because that's going to be taped down anyway. So I'm going to go off there. And let's do it again. Ink it again. I'll do another one. Maybe up over here. And then I'm going to breathe on a little bit. Do another one off here. Okay. All right. Let's see. That's That may be all for that. Okay, so now that's, that's pretty light. So I can go ahead. Um, yeah, I could wash it off. Or because there's not much on it, I can just tap it off and go ahead to the pear pizzazz. Okay, so I want that to be down here a little bit. Pear pizzazz, do another one. Maybe move that one up a little bit. And then I'm going to breathe on it, do another one in the middle. Okay. I think I want another light one, so I'm actually going to stamp it off. And then breathe on it, do another light one up here. And then I don't really want those white spots in the middle, so I'm again, I'm going to stamp it off. And then just stamp another one in the middle, another one in the middle there. And still got a pencil mark showing there, so I might just do one more that sticks up a little bit here. Okay. Anyway, so we've got a bunch of trees. Actually, the middle is going to be covered up anyway. So now I've got my trees on there. And then get the ink out of the way. I can go ahead and stamp my greeting if I want. I can just double check by placing it in here again. And look, yep, no problem. So um, I've got a place to put my greeting. So why don't I go ahead and do that? So let's see. I did the ho 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 for the front, and I'm going to do, well, you'll see here. Put this right down under here, and then I still got room to sign my name. See if I'm. May this special season be wrapped in love and joy. Okay, there you go, and I've got that. So basically, I have all my stamping done. I have one more piece. This piece, yeah, let's see, should I do that one? Oh, I think I'm going to do the red. I want the red to show. So let me go ahead and put some tape on this piece and stick it on. And I have on the directions, you know, a half inch. This is three quarters of an inch wide. So for the usual border, you just cut it at a half inch. But I felt like there was kind of too much white showing, so I cut it at not quite 5 eighths. So that would be like uh, one half is 8 sixteenths. It would be 9 sixteenths of an inch wide, just so there's not quite so much white border. And now I'm going to put some tape on here. This is tear and tape. I could use the um, um, Stamp and Seal Plus. I just really like tear and tape. So I put a whole strip of it along the fold line because I feel like that's the most, um, uh, where the most stress is for them, for the card. Oops, I cut that. And then I'm just going to put a couple little pieces on the um, edge here just to reinforce it a little bit. There's a couple little pieces there. And then I need some tear and tape on this side. So let me go ahead and stick that down here. And, oops, I think I got a bubble there. Oh well, should be okay. Stick that down. And again, I'm just gonna put a couple little pieces by the other edge. 
Oop. Grabbed it on the wrong side. There, there we go. I'll stick that down there and that down there. Okay. Now, I need to stop and think. Make sure there isn't anything. Oh, yeah, I have the tree left to do. Okay, this is going to go on the front. This is going inside now. So we're ready to attach the inside. So let me peel off my tear and tape. This is where it's handy to have fingernails or you can use the little pick tool. Okay, so I'm going to first lay it down so it's right up by the fold. I've got my margin at the top and the bottom pretty even. It's right there at the fold. I'm just going to fold this over. Press it down. There we go. Now that's stuck in place. Okay, and this one, just so you know, it's going to be, if you can see, it's going to be like that. So I know that I'm going to want that folded, so I'm just going to, I'm folding this up here, and I'll peel this tape off too. And this one, and this one. And then I can just lay this down, like so. So easy to get it in place. And there we go, now we've got the card. So it opens and closes, okay? Now, remember I said I wanted to add a little something tree to the front? So I stamped one of the trees, and that stamp set comes with a coordinating, well it doesn't come with, but there's a coordinating um, Christmas tree punch. So, I'll punch that out and then I'll put some dimensionals on well you know before I do that let me put a few um, gems on here got the little red rhinestone gems are on page 142 in the big catalog oops let me turn this over if I had a star that would look nice at the top depending on what stamp set you use and what um, gems you have but I'm going to put a gem there, and a gem here, whoops, and a gem here, and a gem here, and one here, and probably one, let's see, I want odd numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's put one there. Okay, and then I'll put dimensionals on the back sorry for reaching there I've got a small one to put up towards the top of my tree and a big one to put at the bottom I peel those off now I'm just going to close this so I can kind of see where I want it um, yep. put it right in the middle here okay there we go, we've got our tree right in the middle of all the trees. And then I've got my greeting. We'll put our ho, ho, ho. Right here. Maybe I'll center this one. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Ha! Now, that wasn't hard, right? Pretty simple. Okay, there you go. There's the card. Now, let me show you a few others. Okay, this was... This was the um, the other one I did. And so see, depending on the papers you use, the color of cardstock, it just gives you a different look to your cards, okay? So there's those two. And then at our meeting, our Zoom meeting, this was the one that she did. She did a little different. She had white on the one side. And that works fine too, or, or a colored cardstock. And I just used the paper. This one is um, the free paper with Celebration. Spend fifty dollars and you get this paper, twelve by twelve, free, peaceful prints. It's got animals in it, so this is gonna go to uh, one of my cat lovers. Anyway, so there's um, just a cute card with that cat that I just love. Here, let me hold it up. You gotta see the expression on his face. He does not look happy. That kitty does not. Okay, then I also made a couple cards using the mm, peaceful place designer paper. And the Peaceful Place a piece dies and stamp set. This one I really like. This one, if you want to do a little more monkey business, I cut out the trees, stamped Merry Christmas at the bottom because they cut out, you know, with the with the bottom here too. 
and there's my and I just use red and green this is um pear pizzazz and real red and then inside I stamped the cabin I cut out the little fox and the fence and some trees added a little wink of Stella to the trees if you can see it and these trees also and also to the roof the snow on the roof and on the ground and a greeting and then there's paper there anyway I think that's another cute card but this is the one I really like you got winter birthdays this peaceful place designer paper is perfect it's for winter this paper this is snowflakes and the checkered they're on the back of each other so on the other side of the snowflakes are this is this plaid but I thought I'm just gonna make a birthday card very simple I just did this front like normal you know cut that out cut out a white um, um, scallop edge and then all I did on the inside was more of that paper that's some of the paper and then a birthday greeting and there's a little strip of the snowflakes ha huh, isn't that a cute card I really like that thank you for looking I hope this helps have fun bye